Ahead of the 2024 International Day of the Girl Child, the House of Representatives has called on the nation's Federal Ministry of Education to implement practical solutions, including mobile education and community outreach programs, to reduce the number of out-of-school girls across the country's 36 state. This recommendation comes as the world prepares to mark the girl child under the theme, Girls' Vision for the Future a theme that underscores the importance of empowering young girls. Plus TV's Emmanuel Ehigini's report is presented from our studio. In commemoration of International Day of the Girl Child, the House hosted a representative from Plan International's Girls' Rights Advocacy Program. During the plenary session, Honorable Kafilat Ogbara highlighted gender discrimination as a widespread issue rooted in patriarchy and cultural stereotypes. While some countries have made progress in closing the gender gap, Ogbara noted that Nigeria continues to struggle with providing girls access to education, health care, and basic amenities. As part of the event, Plan International Girls Advocate Isabel Anani acted as Speaker of the House for 30 minutes. Anani advocated greater inclusion of girls in policy making and gender responsive budgeting, empowering and protecting girls so they can reach their full potential. The House is worried about this disheartening high number of out of school girls engaged in drug abuse as well. Current data indicates that Nigeria has an estimated 10.5 million girls that are out of school who are also users of hard drugs. The House is worried that the presence of such a vast number of uneducated youth not only jeopardizes their future, but also poses a threat to the nation's security and socioeconomic stability. If deliberate efforts are not taken to address the challenges and be intentional to protect the girl child, the country will be at risk of raising dysfunctional mothers who are meant to protect the home, society, and the future. Girls should be a part of policy making because who better knows what girls want than girls themselves? They should be in rooms like this constantly. Gender inclusive budgeting and gender inclusive policies should be made for girls to empower and protect them in, in making sure that they maximize their full potential. Safe schooling is very important because there's simply no, nothing for girls if she cannot have the education because she lives in constant fear. Sanitary pads and hygiene products should be made available and they should be made as cheap as they can be. The good thing is that we are already halfway there and every day we are a step closer to achieving these goals. Also, there isn't just one solution, but hundreds. There isn't just one girl to talk for, but millions. In order for us to continue at the steady progression that we have so rightfully ascertained. Responding to concerns raised by the public, the House of Representatives passed a resolution urging the federal government to review current tax policies. The goal is to prevent the imposition of unnecessary and duplicative taxes, especially on essential goods and services. This resolution followed a motion introduced by Representative Peter that the current economic situation of this country, characterized by rising inflation, unemployment, and the increasing cost of living, which has led to widespread hardship on the masses, concerned that introduction of additional taxes, sometimes unnecessary, including consumption taxes, service taxes, and levies on essential goods and services place an undue burden on the masses, further weighing the inequality gap. Also, the House called on the Inspector General of Police and the Director General of the National Youth Service Corps to investigate and locate the whereabouts of a missing Corps member, Godwin Okeke, in Ondo State. That NYSC was established to engage Nigeria University graduates in effective community services and nation building across ethno-linguistic boundaries. However, the scheme has been threatened by marriage of abduction, incessant attacks and murder due to the inadequate facilities and general welfare. 
aware that there is an optimum obligation of providing safe environment and facilities for NYSE members on federal, on federal and state governments in conjunction with security agencies while serving on posted in various source communities. The House adjourned sitting till Tuesday next week. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.